What up, what up? We are literally still in the field. We are just a quick in the field recap of day one of Denver Pop Culture Con. I am at one Marcus Flowers, aka Flo, aka Call Me What You Want. Just don't call me lazy. And I am here with my co host. Y'all know who it is, Metro Meta, he who shall not be named. And uh, let's get right into it, Marcus. Uh, it is Friday, the first day of the con. For uh, sure. What, what, first off, let's go. What's your favorite day of the con? Uh, my personal my personal favorite day of uh, Denver Pop Culture Con is usually the second day. It's, uh, it's the Saturday. It's when people don't necessarily have to take off of work. It's when uh, people, it's when literally when the creators, it's when uh, the exhibitors bring out their best work because iron sharpens iron, so they're bringing their best. Uh, of course, there's a lot of people out at the con. And so they're not going to be wanting to, uh, the ones who want to be, to be put forward their best work so that you are not wasting your money. Uh, I gotta say, my favorite day is actually the Friday, the first day. And why's that? Uh, I just like, I like to has a more chill vibe, but people still have energy. Like when you get to Sunday, people are tired. Right. All the best stuff is gone, but like Friday, it, it's just enough people to feel like big and like you're having a lot of fun but it's not so much as overcrowded, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. So let's uh, let's talk about the day. Let's just talk about, uh, we're gonna do a full, uh, we're gonna do a full first day recap later, to, uh, later today. Not not, not necessarily, we're, we're gonna do a pod as well. Uh, but, uh, so atmosphere, how has the atmosphere been this year compared to the other years? Now, uh, to be fair, last year, both me and you said it wasn't as good. Uh, I will say I did like this Friday. Right. Uh, I did. Uh, I got caught. I got me a poster. But um, I liked it. I liked a lot of the art. Um, I liked a lot of the cosplays I saw. The big ones aren't out yet, but I've seen a lot of good uh, small ones. A lot of attention to detail. A lot of good memes. Uh, a lot of good uh, panels. Uh, many of which I might not have been able to go to. But uh, definitely feel like this has been a strong Comic Con day. Yeah, I feel like this was a great opening day for Denver Pop Culture Con. Uh, I, one thing I will say is that it seems like there's not as many people this year as there were last year. But I also think that just comes from experience. This is our uh, this is our fourth year of uh, being uh, media credential media at uh, Denver Pop Culture Con, and I think it just comes with experience that we know how to like work the room. We know how to uh, we know what we want. We know what we don't like. Uh, of course. Uh, it's always when you're stuck in a showroom, you're always going to fall victim to purchasing frivolous things that you probably would have, should have waited. That did happen to me uh, today. But uh, but yeah, I did like the cosplays. Uh, I actually saw Ash catch him. I told him that uh, he was a terrible trainer. He did not. So uh, uh, yeah, there did, is that. I uh-huh. did actually, I did see an Aloy Horizon Zero Dawn cosplay. Which I'm happy about. Facts. Uh, so we are currently uh, just in the beer garden. We are drinking some more box machina. Uh, I also didn't know how popular Critical Role is. Uh, I did not realize that. Uh, I guess I need to get into Dungeons and Dragons, which will probably will not happen <laughs> anytime soon. Um, but yeah, that, I think that's about it. This is just the first day. This is our first in the field. Uh, so before we end, okay. I like to I like to do. Uh, so we didn't look at as many comics today. We'll probably do that more tomorrow. Right. So since we looked at a lot of stuff, uh, how about we do a a little list, a little special list. Right. Dream. All right. So something you dream you could buy. Okay. Uh, probably gonna get, which is something you're probably gonna get, in definitely gonna get what are your three what's your dream what's your probably gonna get and what you definitely gonna get uh so my dream would be uh, a pair of uh, nike air mags uh we saw a fake pair today well not the fake pair but we saw the uh costume pair today uh i actually i saw them from across the room so i had to make sure that that person did not have on a real pair of nike air mags because i was going to fight him in the showroom over there uh, something I'm probably going to uh, buy is a house. Uh, that's definitely coming real soon. And something I'm definitely going to buy. Uh, I'll just keep it simple. 
uh, Avengers Alliance. Marvel mean, Alliance 3. You mean Ultimate Alliance? Yeah. Ultimate Alliance 3, yep. Uh, for me, my dream, it probably got to be one of those lightsabers. They were pretty nice. Right. Uh, probably going to get uh, Persona Q's coming out, so I'm probably going to get that. Definitely going to cop uh, Overwatch. I've been pushing it out so far. I'm going to get an Overwatch uh, League t-shirt this summer. Oh, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna probably get uh one of the fighting sticks too. So All right. well but, that's been our in the field guys. Yep, uh, and uh once again follow us. Uh we have a bunch of content coming out of Denver Pop Culture Con. Uh this is our first one of the year. I think we are still going to be able to hit Evo in Las Vegas later this year. Once again, follow me on social media platforms at one Marcus Flowers. Follow Morgan at Metro Meta 26. Follow the brand 26 and Glencoe on Facebook and Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at 26 and G. Make sure you are liking our YouTube page. We are really uh, turning out content over there. Uh, some of our previous uh, content is up, such as uh, Free Yourself, Aisha Curry, uh, of course, Super Flow Bros, Dust Off the Cartridge. Uh, but yeah, no, that's it. Uh, we have a few. We have our E3 review uh, coming up real soon, and we have our we have the Pokemon news to get to. So we're probably gonna do a special on that. But until tomorrow, or until next time you hear us, peace.